Hello Lorcana players, this is Maelstrom TCG, and I am back again with some Mulan Evasive. Uh, we're see we're loading in, we're seeing who we're going to play up against, and uh, it looks like we are going first. I swear I actually played against this person the, uh, the other day. Alright, so we've got our turn one duke, and I'm actually probably going to pitch the first duke to the second duke. Um, then we don't have turn two play. Between Peter and Cheshire, I think I prefer, honestly, probably Peter. He's a safer bet, uh, and he's more aggressive if we need to kill stuff. I'm going to get rid of Cusco because he's just, he's not inkable, and we don't want very many uninkables in our opening hand. All right. So then we get to go and do this. And we will pass the turn. So let's see what they're on. Okay, so they're probably on, yeah, Ruby Amethyst Control. So this is going to be a very interesting matchup. We don't really need three Mauis in this matchup. So we're going to pitch one of them, and we're just going to go ahead and do that. They will probably try to attack into us. Um, if I know anything about Amethyst Ruby, but quite frankly, I might not. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here we are going to... I like the mama. We're going to get rid of another Maui. I want to keep my options open and he's a good card, but we just we need we need those options. So, we're going to go ahead and exert there again, questing and pass the turn. They have a magic mirror on board. As a Magic the Gathering player, I just don't like Magic Mirror. It's just such an inefficient card. Um, see, and like Maleficent is a better card. Like, okay, here we go. We're gonna ditch the Duke, and we're gonna play a Tink. Uh, Tinkerbell will give Duke evasive, exert, exert, and then next turn we're going up to 8. Hopefully we top deck something where we can uh, ink. I might play Cusco, but Cusco might be a good option for like post board wipe. I don't know because there are three turns from board wipe. If I play Cusco, then they go to five. Then I have two turns with Cusco. So I can get six before board wipe. I like that more than the alternative, which is waiting and playing into their board wipe. So we're going to get rid of the shield, even though it combos with Cusco. And then we are going to... Double quest, pass the turn. Next turn we go up to 13. And then if they don't have a response, we go to 19, assuming we don't play anything else. However, I doubt that we go through this turn without them having removal. They need to have something for our tank or something for the Peter Pan. I expect a dragon fire here. Oh, they're playing their own evasive card. That's interesting. I'm going to pitch this to play a stay with Mama. And we will go up, up, up. 
I would not be surprised if they double traded their Maleficence into Cusco, but that just seems like a win for us. Okay. So they probably swing into Tank. Oh, the fact that they didn't play the Maui. Ugh. There's a Dragonfire on Gothel. Then they're going to kill the Tink, and then maybe... Oh, they're questing, so they're clearly not killing Cusco. Maybe they're waiting for the board wipe next turn. Here's... Yeah, there's the debate, which tells me that they do have that board wipe in hand. Um, so I'm going to hold back Duke. And then pass the turn. And the fact that that was even a debate. Because they don't want me to get any closer. I would have been at 19. And now they're going to be prepared. Yeah, the full quest of the board. Do it while you still can. And there's the board wipe. All right, then we draw, and that is an amazing card to draw into. So we'll double play here. We probably didn't need to double play, um, quite frankly. We might just be playing into more removal. I got overzealous here. All right, so she can exert Duke, but she can't exert Cusco. There we go. We got the dub, everyone. All right, and there you have it. Some of the things to keep in mind when you're playing against this deck, against Amethyst Ruby, um, you need to pay attention to when they are attacking you, um, when they have something like Goofy. That is very telling of when their board wipe is coming. This matchup is very much a race to seven of can you get high enough um where an all uh be prepared leads to you being at like 17 where you can finish off the game with one character or is it a game where you are lagging behind and playing super slow if you know who your opponent is you need to prioritize those those cheaper uh characters especially mini mouse because she doesn't get killed by their one drops um, other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.